Alright YouTube, it's VB Game Maker here. Sorry it's taken a little while to get this up. Uh, I have had a lot of midterms and assignments. I recently started another year in university, but I did have time to write this lovely open source application. Basically what all it does is it takes in one, zero, or two on each of the lines and turns that into a corresponding tile map. So maybe we'll have a look at that really quick. Let's pop this open. Alright, so as you can see here if I write zero maybe on the next line I'll write one two and I click generate all it does is create a simple tile now I can change the size I can double click on the screen to bring it back to this if you want I can actually clear this and I have a pre put in an example right all it generates is a smiley face pretty cool now I posted this on the uh, bulletin board on YouTube a little while ago for you guys to download uh, I will include the download link if you haven't got it yet in the uh, information below but I have added an extra feature here. I've added the scale feature. And all that scale feature does is I'm allowing you to take the original size of each of these, excuse me, these bitmaps, which are 60 by 60, and change them. So if you want to make them for, say, 32, and just generate here, you notice the picture's a lot smaller than it was before. All right? So the default 60, you can even go and make them bigger. So maybe I'll say I'll make them 80 by 80. So increase the size. The idea behind this whole program was I wanted you guys to get an idea of how to do a very basic tile map. Nothing fancy. All right, all the source codes here. Um, I did do minimal documentation, but like I said, I didn't want to sit here and document this stuff forever. So um, have a look through it. If there's anything that you feel you might need an explanation on or a tutorial, I feel just send me a message I would definitely make a tutorial really really quick about that stuff uh, I will have a lot more time coming up soon now that midterms are gone but just quickly let me get to the actual heart of the engine here which is on the second form which is the draw tile map form so we come here it all takes place in the draw method All right, what you can see here is draw at X and draw at Y these are my X and Y coordinates All right. so what I'm doing is I'm looping through all the X and I'm looping through all the Y because we're using a two-dimensional array in order to draw these to the screen and store them we have to do a nested for loop all right we come down here basically this is just checking to see if the tile is nothing because if you notice in the engine here if I go in and write 0 2 5 0 obviously 5 isn't a recognized thing I don't want it crashing so when I click generate it just draws nothing and skips a lot ahead to the next uh, next block, all right? So basically, I'm using the same old GDI plus draw image, all right? Layer. Here it is. This is the drawing location, and this is the scale to use. So this is the size. If you don't put any size in, it's just going to be default 60, or if not, it's whatever you put in. But uh, just to let you know, I wouldn't suggest putting this where I've put it right now. Notice how every time it's running through, it's having to resize them over and over and over. I would maybe suggest modifying it so you resize it once when you receive it. So that way it's just drawing them out after they've already been resized. But like I said, this is just really quick. And of course, you update your location so every time it's moving over and over and over as it draws. When we reach the end of this loop, we move down a row and we continue here drawing across, right? So that's very basic tile map. Nothing too complicated, nothing too crazy. I'm hoping to get a, another kind of program up like this. It'll be mm, a little bit, you know, more advanced. It, like I said, if you guys need help with anything like um, uh, reading from files, let me know. I'll be happy to make a tutorial on that stuff. That's what I made this channel for. Hoping to get more videos up soon. Now, on a latter note, I know how I've been working on that VB tile engine. I did stop work on that, but I do have something else I started. I didn't stop tile engines completely. Instead, I've actually switched over to C Sharp because it's a little bit of a higher order language and I didn't want to tinker around in VB anymore. So, load this up here and just let me load in some tile maps. So, maybe I'll choose this one and this one. And as you noticed, um, if you check the top right corner, performance it's performing relatively better than my VB engine actually I haven't added the character in whatsoever but I'm able to throw a lot more at it uh, first layer and second layer is a little high I put with an arrow um, 
Right now, using Cam Studio, I'm sitting at around 30, 36, 38, depending on how much is going on on the screen. Um, I'm hoping to lock it at 30 when the when I finally finish an RPG I plan on making. But if I don't have Cam Studio on, I can generally get around 40, 42 frames per second, possibly. All right, so it's it's pretty robust. I'm using a new way of scrolling through the tiles, unlike my VB engine, where I went through every single tile and I checked to see if it was on the screen or not. Now I'm only looping through exactly what's on the screen, right? And some other features I'm gonna add are, um, like I said, I have the ability to actually shrink the screen size. So rather than changing the physical screen like I did in my VB engine, I'm just shrinking the form size. So right here I just shrunk it so it fits. You can still access your taskbar. You notice I get a little bit of performance increase because again, that cuts out that whole bottom row and all I have to do is render less and less tiles. So actually the speed is proportional to how big you have the screen. All right, well, that's all I have uh, for now. Just give me a shout out and I'll uh, make some more tutorials. Peace.